Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. If you're new here, my name is Tash. I am so grateful you've clicked on this video, and I really hope you stay until the end. And for all my returning viewers, I love you guys so much. Please make sure you like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out my other socials in the description box below. It's 7 a.m. If you can't tell, I've literally just woken up. Hello, Murphy. Good morning, Murph. Oh, hello, baby. I've just woken up, and we have not had almond milk in my house for, like, literally four days, I reckon. And I always start my morning with an almond cappuccino. And Jack bought me my little black coffee to my bedside table. And I like black coffee, so it's fine. But I was like, you know what? The key to success today is starting off with an almond coffee. So I'm literally going to drive to McDonald's and get myself a little treat. And by treat, I mean I have a free coffee on my Macca's app. So this is your sign to download the Macca's app. Thanks, buddy. And then, you know, I feel like that is just going to be the key to success for me today. Is like literally starting my day off with the coffee that I look forward to every night. Now, mummy's going to start driving, so you have to hop down in your seat, okay? Yeah? You hop down in your seat, yeah? Didn't know there was a girl when she gave me top. Kicked her at the roll, said thanks a lot. God damn, I'll never stop. They're calling the cops in my undress. Forever drunk. Forever. How can I get for you? Hi, I've put an order on the app, thank you. Yeah. It's DJ22. Natasha? Yeah, that's it. Mm. Thank you. I really struggled to sleep last night because I've just been so stressed about Vlogmas. Like, I've been looking forward to Vlogmas more than I've been looking forward to Christmas or, like, my New Year's going away plans or anything. Like, I'm so excited for Vlogmas, and I think I put a really high standard on myself because, like, my vlogs this year have been so inconsistent because I have just been, like, struggling to put myself out there. So I was, like, vlogging for a day. Like, I've made the time in my schedule. I, like, planned what I was going to be doing and like really it's all just gone to crap and because I set such high standards for myself and I'm such a perfectionist like I am really struggling but I utilized some of that time when I couldn't sleep last night to just like really center myself and think like what is it that I want to achieve from vlogmas what are my actual goals what do I need to do to achieve those goals through vlogmas and honestly I've woken up feeling much more inspired today so I'm also not going to be hard on myself for the past vlogmas I've done so far or any of that are to come because I can't predict that. But I'm just going to be really grateful that this is just where I am at life right now and in a year I won't be here. Sit down. Thank you so much. Oh, whoa, sorry. Thank you. Have a good one. Uh -uh. Bad, good behaviour. I try and do one good thing for myself. I really try and set the tone for the day. And some probably underpaid McDonald's employee who didn't want to be at work today is Does she understand what she's done to me? Anyway, I could take this one of two ways. I could take this as a Tash, stop trying to be positive, the universe hates you. Or I could take this as a two. Even when bad things happen to me, I'm turning them into good somehow. So I'm gonna try to do that second option, but we'll see how we go. So I'm going to have my shower now. I'm actually really looking forward to something like that. But I'm just annoyed that my plan for the day, like immediately after I made it, went down the drain. I just had my shower. I quickly whipped up 
some eggs. Maddie will be here any minute, so quickly eat this. That's very hot. That's hot. <laughs> Hi guys, I can't even remember what the last thing I spoke to you was about, but Maddie ended up coming over, she recorded some podcasts and we just did some work together, which was good, and now I'm off to go get my hair done at the hairdressers, which I'm so excited about, however, I haven't had a chance to put makeup on, and if you know, you know, there's nothing worse than going to the hairdressers without your makeup on, because then you look in your mirror and you're like, oh, I look like shit, and you just sit there with a little cape over you, feeling like a knobhead, but anyway, that's fine. Just parked my car at the hairdressers, and honestly, I'm so excited, literally, getting my hair done is easily the highlight of my week, so I'm very excited. I just got back from the hairdressers, I'm so happy. I have a pin to the side of my fringe back already though because my forehead is really sweaty from driving and I didn't want it to get all curly and this one kind of tucks behind my ear nicely so that's what we're working with. Anyway, I was just listening to a podcast while I was driving. I think it's called My Money Mastery and there was this thing I was listening to and I immediately want to journal about it which is so weird. I kind of don't like journaling but this like really made me want to journal. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to leave the link to that podcast in this description box in case you want to check it out for yourself. But I'm only like six episodes in and really loving it. Really, really loving it. Hi, guys. All right, I finished my journaling. Is this a good idea to put you on my drink bottle? Probably not. But also on the way home from the hairdressers, I stopped in because I've got this on my arm, which is like really freaking sore and I have no idea what it is kind of started off just being itchy and I have been consciously not itching it. I feel like I've been really good. It started on Monday night and I thought it was hives because there's no color, but now there's color and my arm is so heavy and burning and sore. And so again, that's what it looks like. I went to the pharmacist and she told me to call nurse on call. Are you joking? Anyway, so I started Googling all the different kinds of rashes because she said it kind of looks like a rash, but it shouldn't have the symptoms of being heavy. So she's like, I think you should call the nurse on call. And I really don't want to do that. So I was like, you know, I'll just Google some rashes and see if I can self-diagnose. But I actually think it might be a spider bite. I think I thought that in the back of my head and kind of denied it because that means a spider got that close to me and I didn't even notice. But then, like, if we look at this photo, trigger warning, by the way, spider bites. Like, it's got the two dots and then it's also spread, kind of like mine has. See, I've got the two dots and it's spread. Anyway, I'm going to call nurse on call, so fingers crossed. Thank you for calling nurse on call. And like, I thought it could be due to stress because my, I feel like my stress, stress has been really bad for me right recently. So I've, I kind of get like um, flare ups with my eczema and stuff when I get stressed. So when I got this itchiness. You see a doctor mm -hmm. um, today. Update on my arm. So none of the doctors will see me tonight. So I called the nurse on call back and I was like, I can't get into a doctor tonight. What do I do? Can I wait till tomorrow? And she was like, no, you need to go to the emergency room, especially if it's like heavy and spreading. So I'm going to go to the emergency room and I've never been more annoyed in my life. Uh, I don't want to go. But obviously I also don't want to have a really freaking heavy arm. Um, so yeah, I'm going to quickly put some comfy clothes on. And go to the emergency room, I guess. What a whirlwind, guys. So first things first, I called the nurse on call as you saw. They told me I needed to see a doctor today. I called up every doctor in my area. No one could see me. So I called the nurse on call back and they said to go to the hospital. I just went to the hospital and it's like so busy. And I'm like, what are they even going to do? So I'm just going to leave it and hopefully I feel better tomorrow. But... Now, I'm going to swing past the supermarket, grab the dog some dinner, grab some ingredients for dinner tonight, and some milk for our coffees tomorrow. So, I'm just going to go home and sit on the couch and just hopefully feel better. Surely. Like, it feels so dramatic that this rash is honestly so painful, but it's more just like my whole arm is so heavy because of it. So, anyway. See how we go. Tragedy, guys. As soon as I put, tried to put the bag into the trolley, it just ripped everywhere. So that was a good spend of 25 cents. I hate it. 
it. I made nachos for dinner, they were disgusting. How do you screw up nachos? But anyway, I feel like crap in my tummy now since eating those nachos. Jack got home about half an hour after I ate those and he's actually sick. So we've just decided to just call the night. We're gonna go to bed early and that's a wrap. I've quickly chucked on a tan because I have some content I need to film tomorrow and preferably would like to be tanned. So that's really it for me today. What a random day. My arm is still killing me. It's just so heavy. I will keep you guys updated. Hopefully I'll just go to sleep and it'll feel so much better tomorrow. I'm putting like cortisone cream and stuff on it. So hopefully that just relieves some pain. But yeah, not a vibe. We're just a little sad household today. So I got my Christmas jumped. I've got my Christmas pajamas on though, so we're finally trying to get into the Christmas spirit a bit more. Just has not come naturally this year, but I feel like a lot of people feel the same way, so there we go. Thank you so much for watching another day of Vlogmas. I will see you guys in the next one.